Thy kingdom come. The second petition of the Lord's Prayer is another one of those great reminders to us of God's word, his identity, and his promises to us. God, our Father, is the King of kings and Lord of lords of all of creation. He rules and reigns over all things. He created all things. He sustains all things, even us. It all belongs to him. He is the ruler of the kingdom, the king of power. And in that kingdom of power, he works for us and for our good. He works in that kingdom of power to bring his kingdom to us, to bring his word to us, to bring his promises to us, to create faith in us by his grace that we would be adopted as sons and daughters of the one true God. And as children and offspring of the king, that makes us royalty. That is when God comes to us in his kingdom of grace, has mercy upon us, and makes us his children. That we have a place with him in his kingdom. Just as Adam and Eve were given dominion over the, over the earth, so too do we as royalty of our God. King of kings and Lord of lords, we have a rightful place in his kingdom because of his promises, because of his identity, because of what he has done for us on the cross, because he has saved us by the blood of his son. We have that sure and certain promise that God rules and reigns. It is his kingdom now and will be forever. And there will be one day when he will come again in his kingdom of glory, when he brings all of the angels and archangels and all the company of heaven to us, when we will be raised from the dead, just as Christ is risen and lives and reigns to all of eternity, so too shall we. As his offspring, as royalty, as heirs of his kingdom, he comes with his kingdom, to us. So we find these words of comfort, of promise, of the sure and certain work of God that his kingdom has and does and will come to us, his beloved children, for our good. In Jesus' name, amen.